help me at nurmuhammad.com that keep a connection, keep your communication line open and we try our best to give a response. And the response that we give is what you're in need of, not what you're asking. Keep always in mind when dealing with the tariqah, it's not like dealing with other people. You ask and you think you're going to get an answer that you want, that's not tariqah. You ask and you get an answer that they want to give you because you ask and through your mind and through limited capacity you're asking something. More important is that you establish the relationship and you reached out. First sign was humility. Second sign is that you're asking Allah I want to be guided. Then begin the process of guidance that you'll hear from us what is necessary for you to understand and that you build your building block with this reality and this connection. More than ever the connection is essential, is essential to be connected to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad This is our lifeline to that reality that through every teaching and whoever is teaching whatever they're teaching out there, whatever signs people are able to understand, whatever they're witnessing of events, most important is the solution. Some are more clever than others at pointing out things that are happening, some state only the obvious. Most important from whatever is being discussed is what is the solution. And for us and this tariqah and the way of tariqah, its solution is the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Whether we make it through this difficulty or we don't but we make it. Because our goal is to be in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad For if we should go through dunya not with that understanding and to leave this dunya without that understanding we lost both dunya and akhirah. So the goal for us was not this world. The goal for us was to be in the presence of Allah's Divinely Presence and Rida and satisfaction to be dressing us with the Nabiyeen, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin. And the highest gift that Allah can give is the gift of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that this love is establishing and that whatever you're listening to and whatever teachings you're trying to follow, is it establishing the immense love and that Prophet Jauka. 464, Ajishahid, Surah 464 is the aqeedah, let's recite. Surah 464, I hope they wrote it right for me, <laughs> Jauka. What do we got, is it Jauka? If not then this person is fired. Surah 464. Huh? Surah 464, verse 64. Is this the, the, the Ayatul Kareem Jauka? Is it? Let's not just say something differently. <laughs> Jauka wa nastaghfirullah wa nastaghfirullah wa rasul. Yeah, you recite the Arabic and he recite the English. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما أرسلنا من رسول إلا ليطاع بإذن الله ولو أن Allah <laughs> 
We sent not a messenger but to be obeyed in accordance with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If they had only when they were unjust to themselves come unto thee and ask Allah's forgiveness and the messenger had asked forgiveness for them, they would have found Allah indeed of returning most merciful. This is the aqeedah of Ahlul Sunnah wa Jama'ah and if someone doesn't understand, they don't understand their aqeedah. That when Allah is saying, Holy Qur'an, this is not the word of, of shaykhs and awliya, this is the word of Allah That in the fourth surah, 64th verse, this is our entire belief, this is our najat, a salvation through the difficulty of dunya and to win the reality of akhirah. That Allah sent, we sent messengers to be believed. Means you can't take and not take, they're to be obeyed from Allah to Atiya Rasul. So we don't pick and choose what we want and what we don't want. So Allah confirming this has to be obeyed. What Sayyidina Muhammad is bringing for you, you have to follow it. It is the will of Allah and if had they only when they were unjust to themselves. So first key and tariqah is that I'm an oppressor to myself. An abdukul ajisu, da'ifu, miskinu, zalim. If you don't believe that you're an oppressor to yourself, shaitan has already fooled you not to repent. And at every moment we have to agree to ourselves, I have been fooled, I am an oppressor to myself. I'm in every type of difficulty, Ya Rabb. And Allah then gives a solution that if you're agreeing that you're an oppressor to yourself then jauka, go to the presence. Go to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad If they had only when they were unjust to themselves, come unto thee Ya Sayyidina Muhammad and ask Allah's forgiveness. Meaning what? You asking Allah's forgiveness is of no value because you just admitted you were an oppressor. Not oppressed, you were an oppressor. The words of a zalim are nothing to Allah That's when they say, oh I want to make du'a directly to Allah I speak Allah. Allah doesn't listen to the words of an oppressor, right? Then you didn't agree that you were an oppressor, you, you must think you're oppressed. If you're oppressed, Allah listens to you. But if you're an oppressor and the worst oppression is to oneself where you didn't follow the guidelines of Allah you didn't follow what Allah wanted for you, for your family, for your community. So instead of trying to wait for judgment, it's, I agree Ya Rabbi, I'm an oppressor to myself, I'm a zalim to myself. How I can ask you for anything and Allah gave the greatest key, jauka. Go to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and that Prophet to pray for you. Is he interceding and taking your case? For if he asks Allah everything is resolved. And then ask his forgiveness for what you've done and come against the commands that Allah has given, the sharia that he has brought, all of the, the, the secrets that we can't understand the reality of our soul. What ocean it came from? We're a drop in this same Surat Al Nisa. What is Allah in this Surah, first verse of Surat Al Nisa? Just the first two lines of Surat Al Nisa. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Ya ayyuhannasu attaqoo rabbi 
ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة صدق الله علي العظيم الله عز وجل said created you from one soul and nafs al wahida four slash one fourth surah of holy quran first verse I created you from a nafs al wahid. You're coming from an ocean of wahid, oneness. Means you come from the ocean of Sayyidina Muhammadun Rasulullah. Whatever we're doing to ourselves and oppressing of ourselves, not one we have oppressed our physicality, but we're trying to damage a soul that's not ours. It's from an ocean called Muhammadun Rasulullah Again there's not a shaykh talking, this is Holy Qur'an. They read a book but yet they don't understand it. So this is our belief, this is a soul, its origin is Muhammadun Rasulullah I am but a drop in that. Whatever I do wrong to my physicality I'm an oppressor. Whatever I disobeyed of Allah trying to harm my soul, it's the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad It's not your soul, Allah didn't make you from your own ocean, you're but a drop. A drop in an ocean called Muhammadun Rasulullah This is an ocean of rahmah and mercy, wa ma arsalnaha rahmatan lil alameen. It is an ocean of rahmah. When Allah said, we would not have sent you but you are a rahmah and you are created from an ocean of rahmah. And when only Allah want to know their reality they recite Surat Ar-Rahman and they understood that they are from this ocean of rahmah. And when you're understanding who you are and the preciousness of who you are not because of you but your soul is from Allah's most blessed gift called Muhammadun Rasulullah then you are like the pearls and corals within that ocean. And that's why Mawlana Shaykh Sultanul Awliya, Shaykh Nazim would always say pearls and corals. The pearls, lulu, lulu is precious, a lulu is precious, lulu wal marjan, the corals, why, why, why are they precious? They're precious because of the value of the ocean that they're found in. Mawlana Shaykh would say, the, the, the shell on the sand is not precious because the ocean kicked that out. So when you pick up the, the shells on the side of the ocean that it already kicked out. What's precious in the ocean is the treasures inside of it. And that pearl. Lulu is, is the secret of this tariqah that within the physicality and the hard structure of the shell of the oyster is producing under this heavy shell a beautific gift and treasure which is that pearl. So with the hardness of this physicality and the hardness of our life and all the difficulty that this physicality and this life goes through. Allah is perfecting a pearl and for Naqshbandiyat al-Aliyah this pearl of reality is under the nazar of Mawlana Shah Naqshband but the Sallallahu Siru. That one of his many realities is to make the dhikr of who upon these pearls. His nazar with what Allah gave of, of power of awliyaullah is just to keep one nazar on these pearls making zikr of who haq. What dress of who upon this pearl? That from the oceans of al-hayat and hidayat and every ocean of reality is dressing guidance upon the pearl and granting it from the oceans of wow and wudud. We said that you can't be from a who without love and guidance. He's dressing the pearl from its reality. From the hay of Allah and hidayat and guidance, He's perfecting each pearl in the perfection of guidance. 
And with Allah's infinite ocean of rahmah that from is above and within is dressing it from an ocean of wadood and love. So all of Naqshbandi are from these pearls. If you find yourself listening to this broadcast, hearing this broadcast, coming across any of the Facebook, social media, any of these things then you are from Naqshbandiya, Tul Aliya. And this is the reality and the inheritance of these shaykhs they gave for us. Is that the reality of our soul, the reality of the immensity of, of this dress and that you have a, a, a lulu, you are, you are of a pearl in your reality. Some more beautific than others in the perfection of the reality of whom Allah created them, what type of gift Allah gave to them and they see difficulty within their hardship because the oyster it's making something. It takes a grain of, of sand and it's making a pearl and has an outside shell that is, is a protective shell. So it means our life and the struggles with our life Allah is doing something, it's not just empty struggles. Every time you're faced with a test Allah just testing your ability to function, make your decisions and He doesn't test anybody beyond their ability. You have it, you just don't know you have its ability. You have the ability to persevere. You have the ability to get through your testing. Some people just test it, they, they become panicky and Allah is saying, don't worry, your pearl in you is being perfected. Don't worry about the hardships. It can be resolved by money and time or whatever experience or expertise you have, it can be resolved and this difficulty will pass. But what immensely is happening is the reality of that soul and the perfection of that pearl, Mawlana Shah Naqshaban zikr and that perfection of that pearl. For a day in which Mawlana Shah Naqshaban sees fit from order of Allah to the order of Sayyidina Muhammad to the order of Mawlana Shah Naqshaban that the pearl be pushed inside the heart of that servant in their physicality to receive their pearl and every uloom al awwaleen wa akhireen begin to dress upon that servant. So means that we pray that Allah dress us and bless us. We started with this as our aqidah and our belief. Our only solution is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad by Holy Qur'an and that we are from one ocean of rahmah and mercy. And to understand who's the owner of this ocean, that its Lord and its might is Allah it's Sahib is Sayyidina Muhammad and we are but a servant within that ocean, a creation within that ocean. But it's not for us, this ocean wasn't created for us, it was created for Muhammadun Rasulullah So everything we do wrong, every type of difficulty that's coming, every type of azab we're seeing, our solution is jawka, run to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And how do you run to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad By your salawat. He gave His presence so easy. You don't have to look for hidden veil or grail or, or, or hidden anything. You don't have to take planes and trains and, and look on these movies for the, the, the quest for the holy grail. Is that as near as you as one salawat? As soon as you feel panicky, as soon as you feel scared, as soon as you feel like you don't understand what's happening, make salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad We have an app with all these beautific durood al-sharif, make these nasheeds, open up the nasheed when you're at home and just begin to recite and sing them. Feel the happiness in that praise, the love of Sayyidina Muhammad as soon as we begin these nasheeds and begin these praisings opens a door to the presence of the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and to be dressed and to be blessed by these associations. Mm. We said we're, we're entering into these oceans of realities, Holy Qur'an is encoded, is encoded with these immense secrets. Click the link now to subscribe.